Nigeria is considered to have a fast-growing technology startup ecosystem, having attracted 25% of the $1.3 billion funding to Africa Tech startups and government must partner with private companies to ensure wealth creation and job opportunities. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Bosu Tijani, made this remark at the Sale Innovation Showcase in Ikorodu, Lagos State. Ayomide Ajegbe reports. The process has begun. With experts being trained in this facility, it is expected that AI will begin to speak the Nigerian language and relate to the Nigerian culture, norm and practice soon enough. We have representation in the data and for the economic empowerment as well, that we have our people building technology that can also help not just Nigeria, but the development of Africa as well. At this event, both the senator representing Lagos East at the National Assembly and the Minister for Communications and Digital Economy lay emphasis on the core mandate of government, which is to empower people to drive value creation in a bid to ensure a boost in the economy, and stresses the need to invest in artificial intelligence to achieve this. You are investing in people, you are, it was personal resources that we are spending, but we had one thing in mind. And what we had in mind was, how do we make it sustainable? How do we ensure that when we train these people, they can get jobs? Some of them are putting jobs. And today I'm proud to say that at least, in, I mean, through what we have done, we probably would have trained over 650 people. Since we started, it was 650. That is bringing them to a class and training them and investing. I think what we're going to see here is practical demonstration of what AI means. We'll start to see its application in society. But as we also see the application in society as well, let's consider the fact that we will be seeing more jobs which means we're creating job opportunities for our people. In line with federal government's plan to create jobs, Awari is helping young people key into AI space, which is the most potent force in the world at the moment. Looking at how we can use um, technology to predict and to also differentiate um, a red blood cell from a sickle cell, especially under the microscope. Most of the images we see online are like the 3D images and very few people have like a proper knowledge of what a sickle cell disease looks like under the microscope in the lab. The skill set acquired by the persons trained in this facility will ensure the match the 21st century expectation and we easily key into jobs available around the world. The International Financial Corporation suggests that the use of AI in 2030 will increase the GDP of Nigeria and Africa by $234 billion. Ayomiria. Thank you.